YouTube. Long time no see. I'm back. Um, I just saw that Rachel Whitehurst was apologizing for being away for a, a week from YouTube. Um, here I am, two months since my last video. If my voice sounds different at all, it's not because I've changed. I'm just sick. Um, I've been getting over a horrible cold. Like, absolutely the worst. Uh, everyone in my workplace is getting it, apparently. And uh, Yeah, so that's... That's what that's about, this voice happening right now. Um, I hope none of you are sick. I hope you're all doing well. And yeah, this is just an intro to a video that I filmed two months ago. I filmed this in the beginning of November sometime. Uh, I just did a little Sephora haul and here it is. Hey everyone, today I'm filming standing up, which is something new and exciting for me. Um, it's a little bit harder than filming sitting down, but we're gonna get through this. It's taken me a long time to set up these shots, and the bunnies keep on making noise. So, here we go. Without further ado, uh, I have a Sephora, not gonna focus on that, Sephora haul slash first impressions for you today. Um, it was kind of a little congratulations to me, present to myself, for um, getting a new job and getting a full-time position in that job, which is amazing. I work at Ren's Pet Depot now. If you haven't been there and you live in the I guess GTA area slash Guelph slash Kitchener area. You should go check it out because it's amazing. Um, I'm going to start off with the things that I actually ordered and then go with, into the freebies after because you know how they do the free samples with every order. Boring things first, I guess. Um, I got my uh, Too Faced Shadow Insurance because I had been out for quite a few months. And it's amazing. It's my Holy Grail face powder. Awesome. You know the deal. Second least boring thing is this. Uh, face wash kit. It comes with a blackhead extractor. Not a huge fan of these things. I don't know. Maybe I just don't know how to work them properly, but they don't work that well for me. Whatever. And then a facial cleansing brush. Uh, I really like the shape of this. It fits well between my fingers. And my favorite thing in this is this rubber pore cleansing thing. It's fantastic and it makes my face feel so nice after I use it. Um, yeah, you just put it on your fingers like that, and it's silicone, you know. It's but meant to be used with foaming face, face cleansers, and I've been using it with my Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant, I think it's called. Anyways, I love it. it, makes my face feel great after, but not too exfoliated, which is awesome. And my favorite thing in this whole order, if you can't already tell by what's on my lips, they are the OCC uh, Lip Tars. This is the Lip Tar All Star Mini 4 set. Uh, it's got Black Dahlia, which I'm wearing, Anime, um, NSFW, Not Safe for Work, and Memento. So far, I've only tried Black Dahlia, but I love it. And yesterday, I layered over Not Safe for Work over top to warm it up a bit, um, which also looked amazing. And they're actually a lot thinner than I thought they'd be. Um, but I love it, just don't use too much because I think today I put on a little bit too much and it started to feather um, along the bottom of my lip here. But yep, yeah, just don't use too much and they are amazing! Oh yeah, and then I forgot one more thing. I picked up a, another Jack Black lip balm. It's probably my holy grail lip balm aside from Lip Smackers chapsticks. Um, I love it, it's the Lemon Camille scent. And onto their free samples. Um, so the three standard samples that I picked, you know how with every order, um, you get to pick out three free samples. There was the Smashbox uh, primer. It was just in one of these little packets here. I actually used that today and I actually really love it. And so far so good. I've only been wearing this makeup for about an hour-ish. Um, but it's holding up pretty well, and I made my face super matte before I put on my foundation. Next was the Bare Minerals Ready SPF 20 Foundation. Haven't tried that one yet. And then there's the Benefit Stay Flawless Primer, which I ha also haven't tried yet. And then, I actually didn't pick up my birthday gift from my last birthday, which was almost a year ago. Um, but yeah, so I got this in the order. It was, it's the Benefit They're Real and What's Up. And I'm wearing both today, actually, and I love them both. And then there was this awesome clutch that was actually a free sampling. You got to choose out of four different ones. This was the Holiday Deluxe 2, and it has a Lancome perfume sample. 
haven't tried that one yet. It's got the Urban Decay Primer Potion Anti-Aging Formula, which I used today and I love it so far. There was the Ojon Color Sustain Pro. Um, it's a hair protectant for colored hair, so it keeps your hair from fading. Smashbox Full Exposure Mascara, have not tried that yet. There's a Kat Von D Lipstick Mini, and it's in Celebrity's Hard, I think you pronounce it that way. Anyways, it's a really pretty color. It's very soft nude. And there's a Ren uh, Hydrocom Cleansing Milk. Have not got a chance to try that, but I'll probably use that to take off my makeup tonight. Smashbox Camera Ready CC Cream. I tried that on the back of my hand. The texture is actually really nice. It doesn't have um, a ton of coverage, but it's just the dark spot correcting one, so I don't think it's meant to have a ton of coverage. And last but not least is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Lash Genius. I used this over top of the, oh what did I use, the Benefit Their Real today. And it's okay, it's just like a clear mascara that you put over top of your dried mascara to kind of um, add a little bit of volume and make it last longer. Um, I don't think the Their Real needed it, but I think it'd be a great one for any mascara that you think is great lengthening but not so much volumizing and you want a little bit of volume. Pretty much in love with everything that I got, especially the lip tars because they're amazing and I need to get all the colors in the full sizes because I'm gonna run out of that Black Dahlia pretty quickly I bet. In other news, let's do pet related news. Dali actually had a bout of GI stasis and she's still kind of getting over it. She wasn't doing really well two or three days ago. GI stasis is just when a rabbit's di digestive system just stops moving and their digestive system has to be going all the time, 24-7. They always have to be eating and pooping. So when they don't get enough exercise or if they don't get to eat for a period of time, their digestive system just stops going and you really have to get it going. So she is on the mend. She's doing a lot better. And in other exciting pet related news, or upcoming pet related news, Chris and I are thinking about getting a dog, an Italian Greyhound in the spring. We haven't really told many people yet because it like wasn't a sure thing. We found a breeder about two hours away from here and she recently picked up a female from the States that is pregnant with one of her dog's puppies. So she's going to take care of her while she's you know having her babies and everything. And I just emailed her today and it looks like the puppies might be coming overnight and that's super exciting and I really hope there's a blue one or a fawn or a seal. Those are my top three colors. I don't even care if it's a girl or a boy. Boy would probably be better for veterinary costs. Anyways, I'm super excited because we might get to pick a puppy in the next, uh, I don't know, a few weeks maybe. Chris and I are so excited. And uh, we've been saving up for a while and we're so ready and I've been picking up a couple of puppy things here and there. Since I work at Ren's now, it's it's a bit easier to pick things up as I go so I don't have to do one 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 time cost, like one giant shopping spree or anything like that. Um, anyways, yeah. I hope you guys are having a good time. Go check out Nanalu's new video. Uh, you might see a familiar face in there. Um, she did a Doritos commercial contest shoot, and Chris and I might have helped out with that a little bit. So yeah, go check that out. I'll link it in the, in the down bar, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, everyone. And since that was filmed uh, two months ago, here's a little update on the puppy situation. We picked him out. He's a blue fawn, Italian greyhound. He was born on November 23rd, I think. Um, and he's going to come home with us on the 31st of this month. We're so ready, we have everything. Like we have everything except for a crate and food dishes. We literally have everything else. Um, we've got a vet picked out, we've got his diet all planned out. Man, I am so excited. And I'm so excited for you to meet him. His name's Zero. So you guys will get to meet him very soon. I actually uh, took the first week of February off so that I could be, you know, at home with him, trading him and whatnot, so he's not alone for eight hours a day while everyone's at work. Um, so yeah, that's what's happening, it's super exciting. And I actually think I'm gonna film a what to do before you bring your dog home with you type of video. I might have to break it up into two sections because that's a lot to cover. Um, what do you guys think of me having a pets channel? Should I make a separate channel for that? Are you okay with me incorporating that into these videos? Let me know what you think because there's going to be more pet videos because I want to start filming more about the buns and of course zero because that's super, 
super exciting. Thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you in my next video, um, which I hope will be less than two months from now. I'm really sure it will be because I have this um, first week of February off so that I can concentrate on A, puppy things, and B, uh, YouTube things. And I really wanted to get more back into it because I just have been so busy and just sick on and off for the past couple months. So I've just kind of taken a break from it. Anywho, I'm back and see you guys later. Bye.